And turning now to business news, tech stocks help maintain market momentum, and one big box retailer makes a massive upgrade to its food aisles. Diane King Hall has the details in today's Money Watch report. On Wall Street, stocks notched a third gain in a row yesterday, powered by a rise in tech shares. The Dow rallied 249 points, the Nasdaq jumped 106, and the S&P 500 gained 34. President Trump is sounding off on the Federal Reserve once again, urging it to cut interest rates by at least a full percentage point. The president says the move would make the economy even better and would also enhance the global economy. Unlike previous presidents, President Trump continues to pressure the Fed and its chairman, Jerome Powell. Despite growing concerns over vaping, Juul has raised another $325 million in financing. The funds are intended to grow its global footprint as it confronts challenges in the U.S. This past June, San Francisco, where Juul is headquartered, became the first U.S. city to ban e-cigarettes. The company has been accused of targeting teens with products that come in flavors like mango, mint, and cucumber. Jewel was sued yesterday for illegally marketing to minors. And Target is launching a new grocery brand in an attempt to boost its food business. Good and Gather will include more than 2,000 items ranging from organic snacks to fresh salad mixes and frozen meals. Products from the new line will hit store shelves September 15th. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to CBSMoneyWatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King-Hall.